Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna create a half horse, half man in Adobe Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we're in Adobe Photoshop. We'll turn this horse into a horseman or a centaur. I have this warrior here. First thing first, let's make a selection. And yes, I'm gonna use the pouring pen tool. There we go. Let me show you something natural or realistic. If you wanna place the man in the horse back, here's what you need to do. Just make a selection of the horse and mask of the man. We need to reveal his front leg. But we are not here for this. I'll place the man somewhere here. But first we need to remove the head of the horse. I can use the clone stem tool. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just removing the head will do. For the man, I don't need his leg. I'll just mask it out. For the lower part, I wanna hide it with an armor. Think of it as a pant for the horseman. I'll use this armor. After making a selection, I'm gonna place it here. I need to warp it to match with the angle. For the background, those modern houses don't match with this photo. I need to remove them as well. I'm thinking of placing some castles in the background. Let's fix the edge areas first. It looks very sharp. I'll just clone a stem some grasses. For the right side, I'll put this castle. It will be easier to select the castle because there is just a sky in the background. I can use the channel or maybe the color range. I'm gonna place it here. For the other side, I'll use this one. Not sure whether this one is a castle or not, but let's use it. Okay, I don't like the sky, so let's change it. I'll still go with some yellow or orange sky. And a big sun just behind his head. Ok great, now all the elements are placed. Now we need to match the color, saturation and luminosity. I like to place all the subjects and objects first and then match with one another. I think it's easier this way. First I will match the man with the background. I'll use the curves, levels or maybe hue saturation adjustment layer. Similarly, I need to do this for the lower part of his armor. Also I need to add shadows here. Lot of shadows. Now let's add the most important thing, highlights. You like highlights, I like highlights, everyone like highlights. To match with the overall environment, I'll go something for orange or yellowish highlights. Okay, now I need to fix those castles. I need to make it darker and introduce some orange tone. I have this flare, I think it will look good if I place it here. I almost forgot to add the shadows. I'll select the horse and fill it with black, then I just need to flip it. Add some blur and make it softer. After adding some blur in the background, some small changes here and there, and a camera filter, this is my final result. I wanted to give it a warm look and some old vibe, that's why I removed those buildings in the background. You don't see a center nowadays, do you? I hope you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe my channel for new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.